I will come back on this dipping thing. It's Arch Linux B dipping. I've just made a video about how to install VirtualBox and Arch Linux is on it. But now I'm gonna overwrite it with something else. I have Chaos in here and uh, it's a 02, so February 19. It's actually not that long ago that it has been released. And let's have a look and see if the Sardi icons and the surfing icons, everything is okay. So Chaos, a lot of languages, live and the video on free, boot from hard disk, hardware detection tool, memory test things to change the language, the help, the video mode and the kernel. So lots of things to do and even boot options that you can change in here. I hope, I think, yeah, yes, I'm typing here. So I can type here one and zero. So things to be changed if eventually that uh, would help you. So we're booting up and this is still Arch. So it's um, launching a lot of uh, elements of the ISO. We'll have to wait. And a nice cursor. You know, I like this cursor. It's the breeze cursor, the dark one, not the white. And we have a splash screen and there we go. We are booting up. KOS, Plasma for KOS. So it's KDE Plasma. Plasma is the new name. I prefer to use the word Plasma. Going forward, you know, why keep mentioning the old names? And let's see what we can do here. So we can install Chaos, a guide, documentation, forum, package list, and passwords. Is root and live, okay, and about, and that's it. So let's install. And this maybe you recognize if you're part of our Linux project. This is Calamaris. And Calamaris is a wonderful tool to just, well, make um, an installer for any of our Linux distributions. I'm gonna keep American English next. And lots of text to read if you like. Next, going to the place to be. Brussels, don't need to change all that. I'm gonna search for my Belgian keyboard, you know that. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There it is, Belgian keyboard. And we're gonna erase everything, everything out, or I could actually say replace a partition, but I don't think we'll have enough room. This is just a virtual box, so everything out. Now this one is already the, one of the later versions, meaning that uh, in, in due time they'll release a stable version of um, Calamares to have a swap with Hibernate or swap no Hibernate. Swap no Hibernate is a little bit smaller as you see and uh, swap with Hibernate means that you can go to sleep, that uh, the amount of your memory is actually stored to your hard disk. So that's why it's a little bit bigger. So let's take the no Hibernate in this case. Next. And let's wait. Oh, whoa. <laughs> so used to type it. KOS. And log in, log in. So you see it's very similar as the Arch Linux installation. Of course, it's of course the same um, installer. Some other information, some other design. Let's see if the images come with it. So that's always the trick to squash images. It's not that easy to make um, well, to design all this thing, but hey. So let's wait for uh, the system to install. I have here show debug information. I can click stuff that we have on KDE. Do I get to see what this is? More actions. So this is a KDE thingy. And we have here, uh, if you didn't notice, a toolbar. So which is a kind of special, a special place, but it's there. There is a toolbar. You can configure the panel any way you see fit. But here it's to the right. And all kinds of applications are already installed. Falcon as um, internet. I do have an icon for those. I think that's okay. I'm not sure about this guy. We'll see. I think I did. Yeah, I made one for him as well. And then the Calamaris installer. We don't need an icon for it because it's going to be gone. 
after the installation and Octopu Octop is a, a replacement for Pac-Man um, Pamac Hour, so Pamac dash A U R A U R, and Octopi is another one. You can clean the cache. sudo Pac-Man minus S C C, and the cache is cleaned. And something. What is the game? A game or something? I think this was kind of. Ah, oh, yeah, that was a terminal. Right, 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 right. Okay. So things like that, power session, help, utilities, arc, writer, I think we'll be okay with the icons, but we're never sure. We should really install and see. All right, good. Let's pause the video, it's, uh, it's uh, finishing up, that's okay, 50%. It shouldn't take that long. You see, there's not much information, not much software installed. It's very minimal, so to speak. Um, so that's going to be, well, the more minimal it gets, the, the faster it installs. It's as simple as that. All right, that's 90%. And there we are. So either you do this, which I do not recommend, maybe better to do this. And then you can quit this thing and then say, let's stop here, shut down, really shut down. Because then we can say to the virtual box. If um, the shutdown does not uh, start, it's, it's not working. You do control F and you close it down up here. So that's the, the other solution. If you, your system is not shutting down in virtual box. Then you need to power it off like this. Okay. And then you can close this KOS like this. So by closing, getting rid of the ISO means that you have actually are going to start it like a proper uh, SSD. So a nice grub theme starting with version 241 system D is that. And we get this uh, splash screen, I think it's called. You can choose oh, hundreds of splash screens if you like. Like you can choose hundreds of themes and hundreds of icons. I mean, that's the fun in Linux. You can choose. Okay, let's pause here a little bit. Ah, there he is. What's KOS? The idea behind it. Oh, great. Oh, 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 oh. Scratch, K, KD Plasma, one toolkit, QT, QT5, I suppose, Plasma themes, and all the rest I will find out for myself. So, um, Sardi icons, okay, Control T, working, uh, yay, not sure, no, Trizen, not either. Question is, is there an AOR helper for? Um, Pac-Man. Pac-Man is there, obviously. All right. So updating the system. So let's do that first. Quick Google search to see if we need if we need an application for AOR, or maybe we can use Octopi, which is here. This kind of um, looks a little bit like um, how do you call it again? Pac-Man. Uh, yeah, the Pac-Man ghost, uh, that's a uh, ghost icon you have. Let's see what happens if I type AOR. Okay, fine. Well, let me Google what uh, they use. All right, so um, Googling did not provide me with any satisfying answer. So if you know how to get AOR packages in easy, would be great. I'm going to solve it my own way. I'm gonna go to the internet, Falcon, and I'm gonna install, I am gonna install AOR, yay. I'm gonna go to the website, like this, download the snapshot, save the file, okay. Uh, right in downloads would be great. And then we go to the downloads folder. I guess it's this one. No, it's this one. Then 
the downloads is this right mouse click extract here that's okay yay then we need an action open terminal here make me the package right let's see we cannot resolve go so you say sudo pacman minus s go you install it i know it's the rather big thing but this is the thing we need to compile it to build it so so be it 500 megabytes and let's build it again next thing is it wants get git so of course you need git of course my poor thing pacman minus s git is very important an invention of Linus Torvalds so to speak so he's getting that one then it says make command not found so there is another the build essentials probably that's not installed sudo pacman minus s is it called build essentials it's called that in db i believe um let me think again what that was so i've tiled them a little bit better so the one is is called base that's one thing that's probably always going to be installed like you see it's all installed there is a problem with the linux kernel but okay that's normal and there is also the base development and that's the one i need probably because i see number 14 make that's the one i need so install me that lot i could of course just go to source fortune saturday but i want to be able to use the AOR and uh, get the Saturday icons that way because we're an arch really so why not use the AOR so yay build me finally yay please make package uh-huh if no errors occur we will have a new package on our system called yay now I can say yay Saturday icons and there are several of them Yay command not found. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> too fast, too furious. Uh, no. So I build it, but I did not install it yet. So the building is done. It's called tar xz. It could have easily been called exe, executable, really. So it's a thing to install this thing. Not s this time, but u to install a local package. This is local, right? It's not coming from anywhere. So I have to look. It's a Dash it once. There you go. Install it, my friend. Now we can say yay Trizen. Ugh. Yay Sati icons. And see what it provides. A lot of information. Which one I'm gonna install? I'm gonna install number one. And just for the heck of it, I'm gonna install number eight as well. Just for fun. There you go. Install me everything. And then we can have a look. Now, the you need to install the number one, the study icons, these, that's, that's the basis, and all the rest are derivatives. So it needs, uh, like I say always, the locomotion, it needs the engine that pulls all the wagons. All these guys are just wagons, folder colors and, and stuff like that. And this guy is really the base ISO number one. Uh, ISO, base icon package. So we don't need this anymore. We can actually put this guy somewhere on, on our Dropbox or, or on our, our drive or something. This is an application. You can run it again and again and again. And uh, you can keep it, if you do a clean install, you can install it later and do an update and everything will be updated, including this yay later on. Okay, we're compressing. And then, I have to wait, Eric. You have to wait. Because opening the settings right now is too soon. It needs to be installed in user share icons. And once it's installed, then it can read it. And then it can show it in the settings. Okay, done. Now we can open our now we can open our settings. Where are the settings? Gate, this one. System settings. Open it up. Workspace team, going quickly to Breeze Dark. Apply. That's one thing. Um, plasma theme. 
is breeze dark cursors let's take my white one there are the normal ones splash screen apply yes please don't really like splash screens it's the it takes a little bit longer to load up another process to to execute icons and here are all the icons so what i usually do is take a sadly flexible arc why the flexible arc because it's all blue apply now it will not kick in that's why this is plasma um, it will not quickly kick in but sometimes you'll see that it's working but you see there are some things maybe i should do do as well i don't know what i always do is log out and log in because of the fact well that this is plasma being sure that <laughs> it even shows the letters fine okay i don't want to see this anymore launch at system start buy and buy wallpaper new wallpaper configure desktop okay i guess i'm gonna choose one of those that's it all right so icons Crueso, what's this? Ah, okay, that's something special for the guys. Of course, I can't know that. Info center, ISO writer, that's something I can make. And Q photo rec, Q photo rec, what's this? Data recovery utility. Okay. If you got something overwritten, you formatted something, you can try to get your data back. ISO writer. They all require sudo. That's what we use for MinStick in Arc Linux. So basically I can round up this uh, video, but what I'm gonna do is go to this control H thing. I'm going to go to the root, to the user, share, oops, what did I do, user, share icons enter no oh, that's samba i c o n s okay icons <laughs> look at that <laughs> great <laughs> anyway um yeah no no i'm not should not be here i should be in applications that's where i want to be because this is wrong that's wrong Cancel. That should be blue. That's uh, wrong. So I need to make three icons for Sardi for Chaos, basically. That's the point and have a look at this one, but that might be just uh, the plasma thing to reboot actually instead of login because they're all blue on my machine. All right, that's it for me. I'm gonna make three icons for Chaos. All right, cheers.